Good fam, it's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. I wanted to do a, a freebie tutorial to show people how to use uh, complete elements in the 1.6 update. A lot of people have been asking how do they load it, how do you access the sounds, all this stuff. So um, this is for the people that don't understand how to get everything loaded and ready to pull up in machine. So I'm going to go through the whole process for you. First, once you get it downloaded, you got to run the installer. I'm not going to sit here and run the whole installer on the on the video but because it takes a while for it to initialize and, and get all the data and everything it's like three gigs two point something gigs or whatever so you can see it's taking a little bit of time there it goes so once it, it'll go through here and once it's over here you'll get to like the little install so I'm gonna pause it right now and then when we get back um, we'll be ready to do the install so alright so this is what you're gonna see when you first start doing the install click next Go ahead and accept the agreement, click next. Shows you everything you're gonna need to install. I'm not using Pro Tools, so I don't need this one. <clears throat> but I will be using the VST plugin, so I'll make sure to leave that alone. Click next. Tells you where it's gonna install the applications. That's fine for me. So I click next there. This is the important part. You need to know where it's gonna put your VST plugins. If you leave it at the default, then you have to go to the native instruments folder and add these two folders. What I like to do is create my own plugin folder. So I have a plugin folder on my C drive. Since I'm I'm doing this on my laptop, I have a plugin folder on my C drive and I got two of them, 64 and 32 bit. So I just create a plugin folder on my C drive. I do the same thing on my desktop as well. So I'll just change this for the 32 bit version. I'll go to my C drive plugin folder and make sure it goes into the 32-bit folder. I'll do the same for the 64-bit. I'll change it. Go to my C drive, my plugin folder, 64-bit. So C plugin 64-bit, C plugins 32-bit. So what I need to do, once I get this installed in machine, I'll have to add this folder so it knows where to look. So click next. Um, and where you want to install the library, I usually have my own location where I want the libraries installed so sample library native instruments and click next and you check make sure everything's okay make sure you remember where it's going to install that then click next um, I'm not gonna sit here and let it go through all this because like I said this installing all this content is probably gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes so I'm gonna pause it again then when we get back I'll show you what, what happens after alright once it gets done just go ahead and click to run service center so you can activate it It'll find that you got um, complete elements. It'll ask you for your serial number. So whatever serial number Native Instruments mailed to you, go ahead and activate it. Now you can go in and check your updates. See if you've got any updates for the software you just installed. You can see I got updates for guitar rig, contact player, and reactor player. I'm not going to do those right now, though. It's important that you open these the first time stand alone. Open these and stand alone the first time. Sorry about that. So now, open machine. <clears throat> go into your preferences, all the plugins. So you go to File, Preferences, go to Plugins, where it says Locations. You want to add your plugin location wherever you installed your VSTs. This is not where you installed the program. This is where you installed the actual VST files. For me, they're in the plugins folder. So I'll just add that to help to rescan. It's scanning mine twice because I have um, 32 and 64 bit plugins. Alright, so you go into the manager, you can see your plugins right there. We don't need those. 
So I just got contact and guitar rig. Reactor's not showing because it's not 64 bit yet. You can see it over here. So I don't have it set to scan and start up, so we're good to go. So if I have me a new project, I could go in, drop down, go to plugins, there's contact four. So then I can load the sounds out of contact four. I can load Abbey Roads. And I could play that on this track. And then if I wanted to load another sound from the contact library, I can load it again. Load something out of here. Maybe I want something out of the vintage electronic toys or something. So you get the idea. That's how you load up the sounds from complete elements. And if you want to use the guitar rig effect, you just go in there. So you get the idea. So that's how you do it. You just got to make sure that the machine knows where to look for your plugins at. <clears throat> By this location, wherever, whatever location you use for your plugins. Again, this is not the programs, this is the plugin files. And then whichever version you're in, I'm in the 64-bit version, so I can only use the 64-bit. All my 32-bit plugins will not work in here. And if you want to use it, you need to make sure you have a check by it. So that's it. If you got any questions, let me know what you think. Let me know if you got any questions. It's your boy St. Joe, machinetutorials.com. I'll see y'all later.